What's up champs, welcome to today's video. My name is Trevor Peterson, I'm a full-time seven-figure Amazon seller. And in today's video, we're gonna be breaking down how to maximize profits during Q4. It's coming up, now is the time to prepare, and I'm gonna be breaking down step-by-step -step strategies that you guys can implement right now. And this video is a really cool one because it was actually a coaching call with one of my students. And we go down and break down the entire process and I'm gonna give you guys an inside look of everything that I'm telling my students to do right now to have massive success for Q4. Let's get into it. As we know, uh, Q4 is right around the corner. And um, as a new seller, um obviously i'd say the one thing is you want to have excess inventory but is there anything you can do individually to have um i don't know if you change your ppc uh if you're more aggressive say uh late september or early october or if there's anything any advice or any strategy you would give to a new seller besides um having excess inventory which is obviously huge um to prepare for q4 anything you would do there? yeah good question so a few things um, if you don't have a ton of inventory, what I like doing is I like riding the wave of Q4 and the traffic and trying to increase my profit margins. So instead of spending a lot of money in PPC, because I don't necessarily care to sell out as quick as possible, because if I'm already short on inventory, I might as well just kind of ride the wave and, and keep my profit margins high. And if sales are still coming in without having PPC, then it's, hey, it's a win-win and I'm, I'm more profitable. Um, if you do have a bunch of inventory and you're looking to like prep and you're like just ready to just kind of just take it to the next level during Q4, the first thing that I would do, um, and I'll, uh, I, I'm normally on top of it um, and, and I'll keep checking periodically, but Amazon will allow you to reserve lightning deals if you qualify. Um, and those you have to reserve way in advance for Black Friday, Cyber Monday. Um, and 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 you'll want to get those in advance another thing that i like doing is if i have a lot of inventory i'll run lightning deals uh during december so like the first week of december the second week of december those are great times to run lightning deals because you're getting extra traffic and if you have the inventory then you're just getting your product exposed to more people so i would say that's the uh one thing to do it if you qualify again not everybody qualifies for a lightning deal um another thing that you can do is you can start uh like like there's a few options like if uh for example your product is a really good stocking stuffer you could create uh, a new image that shows your product as a stocking stuffer and and so you could change your uh one image and create it more for the holiday season and then obviously after Christmas, you would change that image back to the original one. But for two months, you might have that image showing, hey, this is a good stocking stuffer. It's a good gift idea. Um, or trying to show people why it's it's a good a good product for them to buy right now during this holiday season. So that that's something that you guys could do. Um, another thing that you could do is um, in your backend search terms, if you have space, you could also put in different keywords like gift ideas for him, um, stocking stuffers, um, depending on your product. Again, um, it will depend on the keywords that you're putting. I'm just kind of throwing out uh, ideas for for stocking stuffers or whatever, um, or mom gifts um, or gifts up for under $10 or $20 gifts or whatever the case is. You could start trying to throw those in, in your listing a little bit. And you could also maybe try to target those in your PPC campaigns to see if you could start ranking for those because those actually have some good search volume, like gifts for under $20. Like there's a lot of people searching for that and they just scroll through and then they just click buy, like, oh, that's cool. Buy, 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 buy. And if you can rank for those, then that's, that's really good. Um, coupon codes you could do, um, if you have a bunch of if you have a bunch of stock, you could throw some coupon codes on and just start trying to rank for as many keywords as possible. Um, another thing that you could do if you have a lot of inventory, it might not be a bad idea to do a rank bell campaign like the the first week of November. That's what I was and, thinking. And, yeah. and go after like your main keyword or go after a really heavy keyword and try to rank for that first page. Because if you can get there on that first page um, and then these just crazy sales start coming in because of all this organic traffic, 
that's really going to boost as well. So um, there's a number of things that that you could try and do to kind of prepare for it. Um, it just kind of all depends on your product. Um, sometimes products don't necessarily sell better during Christmas, where others they sell like 20 times better. It just kind of depends on the product category um, and industry that you're in currently. For the most part, is your PPC staying the same during Q4? Or are you uh, modifying it? Are you doing anything to it? Or so so depending on my my stock, if I have a lot of stock, I'll be more aggressive. Gotcha. Um, and the thing is, is since there is more traffic, you'll go through your budgets a little bit quicker. So the first thing that I would do is increase my budget. So if I have a twenty dollar budget, I'd probably go through that um, a lot quicker during Q4, where compared to January. And so I would bump up that $20 budget to maybe $40 and then I just monitor it. And if I'm profitable, then I have no issue bumping that budget up to a thousand dollars. Like they just, just adjust and depending on the traffic and you kind of adapt and adjust depending on, um, how much traffic's coming in, what are the sales like and all of that stuff. Gotcha. Hey, thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, of course. All right, champ. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you took notes on what to do to have a massive success for Q4. If you didn't go back, rewatch it. There's a lot of little golden nuggets inside that little clip of my student and I, I hope you enjoyed. And if you did like the video, subscribe, drop a comment. And if you guys want to join me on weekly live calls with my students that I have every single week to ask me any questions that you want, then click the link down below amzchampions.com. I'd love to have you in as a student and have you participate in those live calls every single week. I can't wait to have you inside and we'll be talking soon.